Kevin, look at the film from the USC game. Uh, what do you think was not clicking for the running game compared to the first four games? Uh, I mean, at this point, it doesn't even really matter. We got UCLA this Saturday, so game's behind us. How, how's your health? How are you doing? I feel good. I'm ready to play on Saturday. Um, just get get back on the on the winning side of, of football. Do you think the team shares your mentality of putting last week behind you? Definitely. I mean, football, you have to have a short memory, whether it's on that specific play or a whole game or anything you do in general, you have to have a short memory. If, if you don't, then it isn't the right sport for you. So we've, we've moved on and ready to get on to the next one. How have you felt about the offensive line this season overall? Sorry, blocking for you. Great. They've done an amazing job. Um, you know, sometimes things just don't always work out the way you expect it. And that's nobody's fault necessarily. You know, you have to be able to roll with the punches. And like I said, just, just move on and go to the next game. I mean, it's always frustrating when you when you don't play as expected. You know, we know what this team's capable of, and our ability to run the football and, and throw shots and you know, everything, offensively, defensively, special teams. We didn't play to to our ability and our potential, so that's a frustrating situation. And it, it, all it does is put fuel and fire and motivate you to be better the next week. Yeah, I mean that's 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 how we do things around here. You know, everybody's ready. You know, three deep. You know, you 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 come to practice every day. You work. You have that mentality to where you know if it, if your time comes and it's your opportunity, you take it and you run with it. Like I said, just just the full the fuel to the fire, and you know, you know, having lost that game, maybe that's exactly what we needed, you know, to motivate us and um, you know, prove to us that you know you can be beat at any time in the Pac-12 in the country, just in college football period. So, just gives us that that little chip on our shoulder. Can you talk about Christian Hill a little bit and what, what that guy is like uh, when you're out there in that formation? Christian's a cool cat, you know. He's he's I mean, you guys have seen him. He's super big, but he's really laid back and. Um, anything the coaches ask him to do, he does it, whether that's playing defensive line or coming over and, you know, working with the offense. Whatever it is, you know, whatever that may be, we ask him to do, he just does it. So he's a great teammate. We're saying about how much he wants to be a protector. Yeah. Do you, do you get that, do you get um, that feeling? With, with him being in the military, I think he just kind of has that aura to him, you know, and, and – I mean, it's not necessarily just with me. It's with everybody. You know, when he's in on that um, sparky formation, when he's in on the field, he, he doesn't want anybody to touch anybody that has the ball. So he has that kind of mentality. Do you guys discuss that at all, or do you just discuss it generally playing, playing in that formation together? Yeah, definitely. You know, we, we always talk back and forth. And I know he's got my back, you know. So that's, that's the formation that we get in. And, and we run the ball straight downhill, and we come at people. So. Um, we just all have developed a certain mentality in that formation that where nobody can really stop us. Question for Mario. Uh, Mario, you Jalen No, when we first walked in here, he mistaked me for Jalen. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, it was very frustrating in the beginning, but, you know, we thought we were going <clears> to <throat> come in and, you know, how we usually do, we kind of got off to a slow start and it usually picks it up during during the game, but we obviously we didn't do that. And uh, it's very frustrating when, you know, we put work so hard in the, in the week and then come out and give a game like that. It's, it's frustrating and embarrassing at the same time. So maybe like one positive you can take away from USC, I know you got two goals and not touchdowns. But you got that fast start you're looking for. Yeah, we got a fast start. I mean, we moved the ball. Obviously, we moved the ball. You see, we took some shots downfield and uh, made a lot of we made a lot of plays that could have impacted the game. But we just, I felt like we just didn't finish when we I don't know ways we could finish. But um, I mean, it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of positives in there. But also, you can't look, you can't just take away from the positives and just move on. Just move on with it. You know, it's last last week. You know, but we good. We ready for UCLA. He's not a new quarterback. He's, he, I mean, he 
prep, he's prep, like like Coach Lindsey just said, his preparation is the same. Like he's the number one quarterback, so he's not new. We we've been we've been here before. Um, he where he comes in to work every day with his hard hat in his toolbox. You know, he comes in and he watches extra film. He like like I say, he prepares like he's the one. Like he's the one. So I mean, it's not really new. I mean, it don't really put a a little effect to the run game. I mean, because Brady he'll pull it and run too. Also, but um. It's not nothing really. It's not really a transition or anything. It's just we got a new. It's just another face back there that that has the timing of the w number one quarterback because of his preparation. Demario, Coach Graham said that USC brought some different pressures and did stuff defensively that had to done this year that you guys didn't see on film, causing a bit of an adjustment period. What did you see with that and the way you guys adjusted throughout the game? I mean, the adjustments were fine. I mean, it's just. They brought a, like every time they brought a pressure, they brought an extra man. So it was kind of hard to, you know, make a hot read or something like that. But the adjust adjustments were fine, you know. After they brought the pressures that they brought in like the first few series, that's the only pressure they were bringing the whole game. So once we came off the uh, once we came off the field with our first couple of uh, our first couple of series, we made our adjustments and picked up our picked up the blitzes. The blitzes didn't really hurt us, like like they said, like Coach Lindsey said, it was a lot of self inflicted wounds. You know, you can't win games with a lot of self-inflicted wounds. You know, so um, now, like I said, it's a mistake. You, you know, you can't take back from it. All we do is take from the positives and move on and get ready for UCLA. How do you compare their defensive line and their uh, run defense compared to USC's? Their run defense, to, to uh, honestly, to me, their run defense, UCLA's run defense is way better than UC, uh, than uh, SC's. But um, the D line, they're, they're about they're about the same D line. You know, they got some dogs up there. Um, not knocking SC's run game at all, but they got some they got some dogs up there at UCLA. So um, we'll see, man. We'll see. I mean, it's gonna be a good game, you know. Especially after last year, how we did how we did last year running the ball last year. So um, I mean, I don't really like I know me. I don't really care. So uh, man, we they still gonna have to stop the run. So, but they got some dogs though. Don't get me wrong. They got some dogs on the D line. Did you want to go back in against USC? Or was it just a case where you just wanted? Uh, I was actually spatted up and ready to go, but it was already too late in the game. We was already going into the fourth quarter of the game, so they just was like, you, you got to play it safe and just left it alone. We were good. I was good, though. We were good. good. We are good, yeah. We are fine. This team has bounced back. You've been here a while now. Bounced back with some down losses. What, what enables you guys to do that? Preparation. Like I said, our preparation and coming in every week, taking all the positives from the week we had before and not making the mistake, same mistakes that we made the week before too. Also, come in, uh, it's a new week. You know, we're 4-1, and one. can't knock it. We're still competing in the South for a championship. We're still competing in the Pac-12 for a championship. So, I mean, we just come in every week with our hard hats and toolboxes, coming in trying to win games. We're going to win games, you know, but now it's just time to stop making the same mistakes over and over again and start improving. and putting putting what we do in practice on the field and just making making big time plays like making the making the big time plays that we usually make you know so um, I don't know man we just come in like I say we come in every week take the positives and run with it and make sure that um everybody on our team is healthy and good with what we do when you look at this division it's like how competitive it is you know there's Colorado Utah I know you focus on this game this week but like does that reinforce for you just how and anyone's still in it at this point I know I mean it, the pack to me, the Pac-12 is always one of the hardest conferences in the nation. You know, like last year, nobody thought Washington State would do what they did last year. Nobody thought Cal would do what they did in the beginning of the year. But like I said, the Pac-12 South is wide open. The Pac-12 is wide open. So I mean, it's like that every year. It's competition every week. You know, you're going against dogs every week. So um, you gotta respect it. You know, we. I mean, I'm not really thinking about you know the Washingtons and the Utahs and the Colorados. We worried about UCLA right now. That's that's task number one at hand. So I mean, it's a lot of dogs up here every week. You know, you got competition every week. You know, and um, it's uh, the best man win every week. You know, whoever out physicals the, whoever out dominates and physicals the other team. That's what's gonna win 90 percent to 90 to 98 percent of the time. So we gonna come in, get to work. You know, be physical, be the physical team that we are, and uh, just prepare like we never prepared before and act like we zero and zero again.